Hey guys, so on Check It Out Milton, we are usually out in the community filming local businesses, parks, and different neighborhoods. Um, so with the current state of uh, the world right now, we're unable to do that. But I do have some footage that I had shot previously that just hadn't been edited yet. So I want to share with you today um, an amazing storefront. It's called Grow For It. So I had the opportunity to um, go into the store and have a great interview um, with the owner. And so I wanted to share that with you guys today. Um, she does have an Etsy shop. There are um, things available to order online and she is doing local pickups. I'm a notorious plant killer. If you know me, you know that. Um, but I'm trying, I'm always trying because I love plants. Um, they just don't always love me back. Um, but Lucy, I picked up this, I think it's the Monstera Deliciosa. Lucy, you will correct me if I'm saying that wrong. I'm sure I'm butchering it, but I just love this little plant and um, it's growing so quickly. So I just feel like, you know, I'm doing my best to really take care of it right now. I need a new pot, um, but other than that, it's, uh, it's growing really nice and it's so pretty. I'm trying to be a plant person. <laughs> Anyways, she's got a lot of really great things in her store, so check out this video. Give them some love on Instagram. Give them a like on Facebook. If you've shopped there, give them a review. Um, let's do all we can to support our local business at this time. So check out this week's video, and thanks for watching. Thank you so much for coming in. I really appreciate it. So Grow For It started uh, because I love plants and um, I have the slogan, embrace a plant built life. And that's really what I started to do and noticed that there's other people who want to do the same thing. And plants really bring um, life into a space and makes people feel happy. So Plants do make you feel happy, right? Yeah. Like there's something like I don't know, maybe, I think it's about being in nature or, yeah. or something like that, right? Like they have healing properties too, don't they? Like for your air and... Yeah, they do. A yeah. lot of plants like the peace lily, for example, and even uh, the snake plant, mm -hmm. they're high on NASA's list for air purifying. So lots of benefits, not just that they look pretty, but they're also beneficial. Wow, very yeah. cool. <laughs> and so within the store, I like to have variety. I know variety is the spice of life. <laughs> yeah. So we've got succulents over here. So very easy care. Mm -hmm. you know, um, it just needs bright light and you water infrequently. And then I've got some of the other plants that are very sought after. So this is the Rapidophora tetrasperma. Oh wow, that's a that's a <laughs> mouthful. <laughs> And it's so nice with the what they call fenestrations or the holes inside. But it's really pretty. Oh wow. It is very yeah. pretty. Nature has so much design. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. it's and then speaking of uh, split leaf design, we've got this one, which is the Monstera Deliciosa. Oh, this is like a very trendy plant, it right? It is. And it makes such a statement in a space. So you'll notice that the leaves here are kind of a uh, solid leaf. Yeah. But then as the plant matures, then you're going to get these uh, splits or fenestrations. Oh, wow. That's so really cool. That's really neat. And yeah. they get really big too, they don't do. they? That's they why do it's mo monster <laughs> size. That's it. And actually <laughs> the name is pretty cool. So Monstera Deliciosa, so in the wild or um, I guess outdoors when conditions are appropriate, it actually fruits. Oh, wow. Really? Delicious fruits. No way. Deliciosa. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. A little so, Espanol. That's <laughs> okay. <laughs> to the rarer or unique plant. So we've got this jewel orchid or Ludicia discolored. So oh, wow. yeah, I'll show so you pretty. actually one with them. When you look at the leaves here, oh, it's wow. just beautiful. Gorgeous. Yeah. And then there's ones that are also in bloom here. And there's I'll show you. This one here looks like almost like lightning. Oh wow. It's so pretty. It's so intricate. Yeah. It's like art almost. Yes, exactly. Gorgeous. Are and they hard to take care of? Uh they like humidity and they don't need a tremendous amount of light, which is pretty doable for most people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Within the store, there's other items too that help you kind of 
embrace that plant life. So uh, we've got art on the, on the boutique side. Um, there's some pottery. There's also jewelry, which I'm wearing some of them now. Oh yeah, let me see, those are so <laughs> the pretty. The monstera earrings. Yeah, love those, those are awesome. <laughs> and these are some Taui shell, uh, shells from Ghana. Oh wow, yeah. <laughs> very, very pretty. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, and of course I gotta have my my uh, plant life. Yeah, you are embracing <laughs> the plant life. <laughs> People um, want to come in. Like, is there? Should they check you out on your Instagram yes, too? Okay. Yes. So please check me out. It's Instagram at Growforit. So okay. G R O F O R I T. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. So on Facebook, it's at Let's Grow For It. Okay. Awesome. Groford is an awesome little local plant shop with not just plants, but think of all the things for the plant lover in your life. From the trendy plants like the fiddle leaf fig to the rarer plants, Lucy and Groford have a large variety. For now, you can visit them online at growforit.life to order your plants. We can't wait for them to reopen and visit Lucy and her shop on Charles Street. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to check out Grow For It on Instagram and Facebook. See you next week, Milton.